have two crews. We got the white t-shirt crew right here. Ding, ding. And then we got the gray <laughs> t-shirt crew right there. Slightly lighter. That's me too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's the beautiful people. Uh, it's the people they don't let in the clubs. <laughs> A lot of them they have an no white way, teeth, right? Uh, that was way too. That was way too socially relevant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jim, give us an introduction. Where are we? Because I don't know. We're in Mountain Loop Highway, northeast of Seattle, about two hours. Uh, south of a town called Darrington. Or, yeah, south of a town called Darrington. And we're on a river called the Sock River. And is this the, is this the glacier wilderness? I don't think so. Oh, what is it? Is it? We don't know what, what this is. It's federal land. I don't know what the forest is called, though. OK. But it is, uh, this river feeds from Glacier Peak, which is the yep. fifth uh, lesser known volcano, active volcano in Washington. Oh, nice, nice. And we're going to go do some mountain hiking a little bit. So yep. we've got Jim, Jimmy, Vance. Jimmy, very excited over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are. We're getting started on our first hike as we're walking through forested mountainous terrain. But that's the same way I felt about Mount Pew. Mount Pew, I was like, uh, where? Where can I possibly go up? Yeah, it appears to be closer. Yeah. So we're just going to go up there. Yep. Real simple. How are you holding up? Good. You guys, you guys doing good? Yeah. A little bit of heartbeat going, but... A lot of smoke. It looks like we're coming up on our first patch of snow here in September. Very late season. What's the date today? September 9th? 9th? September 9th, 2022. There's some snow left over. All right, what do, what do we see here? What's going on? Um, I'll check to make sure we're on the same right path, but I think it's just going to wind around and then we're going to head up. Yeah, look at see that path up there? Mm -hmm. so We've got some winding trails to do then. We've been going for 40 minutes, 50, 40 to 41 minutes. Okay. Awesome. Pretty quick. So it's like, um, What do you think? Looks like we're still on it. We keep going up up the direction you're going or that way towards that other trail looking thing to the right. Very sketchy. But I do wonder if it feels any better. But it, it I mean like if we could get on grass. Hey, can you can you guys make it over here? No. That's what I'm wondering. I have a good path from where I'm standing to that grass right there. Yeah. Um, it looks a little slippery, kind of like what Vance just did down there, though. Oh man. I agree. There's a rock that is went that, right by my face. Is that a life on you? No, <laughs> that no, that's an alarm. Uh oh, rock. Oh. Sh yeah. Here, I'm gonna start moving down so we don't. Yeah, Jim, can you just can you just hold on a minute? Yes. Eat some grass. <laughs> that's just like that's just a long way to be climbing up that kind of stuff. And like, look at Jim coming down; he's struggling. I, I honestly think this is bordering on we need ropes. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost, it's not quite straight up, but it's 70 degrees, right? Yep. No, I agree, I agree. I'm on board. That, just coming down that section that I had gone up, like that was, that felt very sketchy. Yeah. That felt like, I'm glad I've done some bouldering, because I can maybe get a little bit of hand holding. You know, shoes also just don't feel, they feel splashy. 
I, I don't think that we're comfortable. And I, I wasn't prepared for it, you know. You want shoes that feel very, like, grounded, no movement, so you can place a foot and know that it's going to stay. Mm -hmm. um, if we could follow grass all the way up, I would feel okay, but not this rock. Yeah. This rock feels very shaky. So you could see if, if there's a path up that direction or go back down around and see if there is like a, a path around. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and make your way down and get, get yourself some distance yeah, before I knock rocks on top of your head. To do this kind of a 70% grade for that long. But I was also thinking like, probably should have a helmet. Yeah. Because it's getting that level where rocks are flying at you. And yeah, it's you, one of those you things get hit that in the head it's, like, it's maybe a good, I would have think I would have just pushed through, but having someone in the group feel that way makes me feel nervous. But eventually, right. but eventually, Jim, wouldn't you have been like questioning it when you're that I high up I there? And then what do you, what do you do up there too? I think I was pretty close to where it starts to level off a little bit. Okay. All trails levels off a little bit. Okay. And so that, that the, the part where I was, was like the worst, but it yeah. felt, it did feel very bad. Yeah. And it felt very bad coming back down. Yeah. Like I was telling him. I was like hanging to some things like this, and if I had slipped, yeah, I would have tumbled. That's that's because I not needed good. that, and it was like, and my toes were on like steep and like craggy stuff like this, and just yeah. slipping up from under me. Yeah, you got to remember, it's it's also about going down too. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> it can be harder. So but, I feel, uh, I feel we should... nervous enough now um, that I I'm w willing to. It's good. It's good to be a little yeah a little bit nervous. Yeah. But uh, we should really read the uh, all trails like reports if there are any on how the heck they did this because this is like it's like above. I think people it's above our... just. I think they just climbed it. Just climbed it, and then you got over the steep stuff and you just kept going. Yep. Huh. I will say that there are mount, sections of Mount View that will make you a little bit nervous. But, oh, but I'm sure. But not. But at least you've nervous, done it. Not as nervous as this. Yeah. Yeah. At least you've done it and know it. Ooh, you getting called? No, nah, it's my my alarm keeps going off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alarm for what? Uh, to give my dog her uh, medication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Part, I feel like, yeah, it's if one. There's also something about someone being like, ah, uh, let's not do this, and then pushing past that feels even worse. It's one thing to not think about it and just do it. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to have someone be like, this is a bad idea, and you're like, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. Because how stupid would you feel, right? If, if like, it, it went bad. Right. Mega stupid. Very stupid. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we are, um, we're with Jim, Jimmy, and Vance, and Patrick. I'm Patrick. Am I saying this in a natural way now, or am yeah, I? Yeah, you're totally normal I'm, now. I'm normal now. Okay, I don't want to say this in, in like, a video presenter yeah, voice. Yeah, approval on your voice. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, so we are here at a White Chuck Mountain. That's this mountain right here. We, you can't see the top of it, but you can see some very scary parts of it. Uh, we don't really know how to get up there, and we came from that direction. You can see it's really uh, smoky out there today. A lot of fires around. Uh, and we are following this all trails map and it just sort of leads you right up into that craggly 70 degree angled what would you call it like it's obstacle. a rock scramble it's a rock scramble yeah it's almost like kind of like a crevice um that leads very steeply up so you have a wall on one side and it just comes to like a v but it gets to be like yeah like 60 degrees at least i would say and i'm just not comfortable uh, with it. I'm just not comfortable with my level of skills. Maybe maybe Jim would be able to do it in a different day, or think, maybe not. I think now that you thought that you called it out, it has me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, so, that, so coming down is going to be difficult too, keep that in mind, Jim. But like, I see going that way, okay, that's pretty flat. Maybe, maybe continuing on after that L, and then maybe there's a, there's like a little lip. Do you see the low point at the very top ridge line? Yeah. I see that as maybe a path, but I really can't see because I can't see on the other side of those the those trees. The trees make me think, okay, so that's some, and the vegetation make me think that's flatter ground. So I'm, I'm literally tracing hmm. the route I would take until I get up to that grassy patch and then doing the switchbacks up the grassy section until I get to the trees essentially. And then, I, and then the question would be, well, what's it look like then? Yeah. And it might look shitty. 
but yeah. it might also be like, okay, well we can keep doing like these switchbacks around the bigger boulders in the grassy sections and it wouldn't feel that crazy because the grass holds. I wouldn't want to be on this stuff at, at a steep angle. Yeah, But if right. I had big rock holds like this to grab onto and a grassy section for my foot or big boulder, a big boulder for my foot and not any of this. But do, do you have a pretty good mental snapshot of what it looked like down there and going that direction? Did you get, did you get a glimpse it's, of that? It's easy there, but it gets really steep on the backside. Does it? So this is our best option. You yeah. saw that on the topographical the map? Topographical. Okay. This is really our only way up. <sighs> okay. Um, All right. And I'm just wondering, like, I wonder if it would be useful for for Jimmy and I just to tr just to see how it is going up these grassy sections. Sure, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with like a conservative approach, like let's feel it out. And cause we tried this and we're like, oh, yeah. okay, no. Well, yep. let's feel that out. And if it's no, then. And I would say if I feel uneasy we'll at just all bail. going up, I yeah. bail. Okay. Because I know coming down, it's gonna feel worse. Even worse, So yeah. if I feel uneasy at all, like I was starting to feel here, I'll, I'll just come right back. Yeah, what do you, what do you think of that plan? Okay. Jim, do you wanna do you want try it? You go first, I'll fall. Rest? Yeah. So I want to get over to yeah. uh, here, wherever you want to. All right, we'll, we'll, yeah, don't bring those poles, leave those. Leave the poles here, here we'll get them on the way out. You don't leave them with me? Yeah. Be careful. No, I'm feeling good. I'll probably keep the bag and poles and stuff, but yeah, it's okay. All right, we're, we're coming up. It turns out we uh, connected with the path again, so going down, yeah, going down through that crevice would have been a bad decision. And this is a lot more doable. It's a lot more switchbacks. Patrick, uh, no thanks. I'm good here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, but the the less time we have, the more likely we are going to be to rush, and then that's also. Yeah, he doesn't show our current elevation. Well, other than photography, you just have to trace it over and tell it. Just see it. Topography. 60. But I think that peak is 6289 or something like that. And the peak we're going to is like 6900. So we're going significantly higher than that. That's amazing. He, you mean here or in Mount Poo? Poo? No. Here. The peak we're going to oh, okay. right now. Yeah, that seems like a long distance, even just vertically. How do you figure a tenth that looks more than a tenth? Okay, a little more than a tenth, yeah. Because I don't think that's a tenth. Maybe like a seventh. Two, two tenths. All right, so we are heading I mean, back. We're gonna head back. We're gonna rest here and then head back from here. Then that's I guess like it's... a fifth. Yeah. Or a fourth, because if you take. Yeah. I think there's a lot more than what's predicted. I think that could be true. Yeah. I kind of. I kind of wanna. If you wanna see go, if I could see the peak. Initially, I wanted to I think do it, it, but I think it's right the map, there. Hey, pass. real quick. I think it's right there. And I don't know oh you see yeah. I don't know. I don't You're think right. You see, I don't yeah. think you can see it from. Does that look pretty crazy? It does look really crazy high. I see the very, very okay. peak, but. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That, is, that is it. Just barely and it's, through. It's literally 700 feet higher than that peak up the top of that. <laughs> Like that's an, an hour hike if we had a path up there. Right. Well, getting to that peak from here is farther than when we started down in that valley, isn't it? Like, we, like the distance, the difference between here and there is not as much okay. as the distance between here and up there. I think, right? Or what do you guys think? What do you reckon? I think I agree with you on that one. I bet it would take an hour to get up to that to that peak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, so yeah, I, I think we're I think we're clear on what we want to do. <laughs> okay. Cool. But I'm glad we did that little foray. Yeah. All right. Back down we go then. Onward. And that is, that is, wait, what was the name of that peak? White Chuck? Mm -hmm. That is White Chuck Mountain. Okay. Yeah. This route technically has multiple ways up, guys. Oh, does it? Yeah, the crevice. Oh, so the crevice is a way up. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thank you.
Mountain artillery. Unintentional artillery. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Was that what I kicked? That's what I that's what I knocked. I didn't think it was gonna be. Wow. You hear that from here too. Wow. Scary. That's actually that's why it's mountain artillery. No kidding. Huckleberries. Tastes a little bit like blueberry. I don't think they're poisonous. Uh, maybe you feed too many. Hmm. White Chuck Mountain. We saw the what we think was the peak, kind of in the distance, and uh, just because of time with the sun going down, we decided to go back. But I thought we'd uh, take this opportunity to do a little bit of a trip report and just talk about. I mean, even though it wasn't that long of a trip, it was less than four miles uh, one direction. Just talk about what went well and what didn't go well and any other considerations, gear, weather, just any thoughts we had or what was, I don't know, what was the best part of that hike and what was the worst part for each one of us, whoever wants to jump in. The worst part was ascending and the best part was coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, bring, bring light gloves. Because when you have like boulders and you're walking around and you're not, not using your poles, also figure out a way to get like a little backpack for the poles. Because I use these 80% yes. of the time, but then 20% of the time I was just climbing and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, I would like to be able to just bring the poles with. And also a low profile backpack, like a very skinny one. My backpack is my wife's backpack from elementary school. And uh, it's not really specialized for mm -hmm. climbing on mountains. But uh, Jim had a pretty interesting climb that he did. You want to talk about that? And yeah, I think there was a major decision point where like, we were following all trails and we were following the line perfectly. It seemed to lead right up this crevice. Yeah. It was really steep, like 60 degree crevice. And it seemed like, oh, this is the way it must be. I don't see another way. And then I wasn't even thinking about the danger. And then you started to like feel that danger. And yeah. then it, I think I was so focused on just taking one step at a time. I wasn't thinking about it. And then when you called that out, I was like, oh shit. And even just doubling back to you guys, I was maybe like 30, 40 feet ahead or something yeah. up, up the mountain. And that was, that felt very scary. It felt like I was holding on with friction. And if I, if I, my hand slipped or my foot slipped, it felt like it could have been really bad. Yeah. And so just, we, and the rocks coming down towards me, they were like raining. Yeah. So they were getting, they were picking up some velocity and and so Even then that I think, felt... I think the, 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 we were all starting to feel the fear. We, were, we made a decision to go back down. And then it was interesting because we paused, I think, just as sort of like a rest point. And we were looking back up. And then it started to look rosy again. It Way started, better. It started to look, well, well, what if we didn't do the crevice? What if we were, you know, supposed to, you know, sort of snake our way up the grassy areas and the harder rock areas where there isn't that shale that slides yeah. off? Also, we had earlier on misidentified the peak. We thought we were going one place. And then yeah. Later on, it was something behind that. Behind it. Yeah, and so, I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, I just did not read about this hike at all. I had, I did not do any preparation. Yeah, I either. I, it was a four-mile hike, yeah. and I figured, okay, it's hard and it's yeah. steep, but it's four miles. Yeah. Don't trust the people that are telling you you're going on the trip. You want to do some research yourself. <laughs> and we could have made it. We just left a little yeah. late in the day. Yeah. It's and true. very true. Like the four miles is quick, but the last mile was like, yeah. Yeah. Up, up a, like, yeah. Good point. Thousand feet, which takes an hour to go 100 yards. Yeah. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but you get what I mean. But I think the most interesting part is that reassessment that we did based on your just instinct that, like, this is getting unsafe. And it I certainly made me realize that it was unsafe. Bring I a light, bring a light too, just yeah. to, in, in case we do enter a situation where. I did bring. I did bring lights. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I did. I was thinking about that, but I oh bandage because uh, it was very slippery, super dusty rocks falling out from underneath you so just like if you slip I, i've slipped before and and had blood coming down and like i don't know if you have a lot coming down obviously you want to stop that or just cover it up and prevent infection mm -hmm. and you have to think when you're going up if this is making you uneasy going up it's worse coming down 
Yeah. And so it's like, if you're feeling bad as you're going up, then you better stop and think and reassess because it means yeah. that you're going to feel even more unsteady <clears throat> coming down. Also, my, my emotions after when I started to feel uncomfortable, I was like thinking, oh, we, we're just like abort this whole branch. And I did not think we were going to go up like anywhere in that direction. But I think you were like, we came down and then like rested and you're like, well, what about going there? And I didn't really like believe that at first. I was like, no, we need to go around back and back down. And, but we talked about it with like very cool heads. And you guys evidently had at least looked at, I don't know, did you look at the topo map? Yeah, had, we pulled the topo up and we saw that uh, Jim was on the steepest spot. So if we can find a way around the steep spot to the other path, it flattens off up top. Yeah. So having all trails obviously is helpful. And we did yeah. reconnect with the path, right? right? Yeah. So we realized like the path was actually this other way that that ended up looking easier. And we, and we had just been so focused on this crevice. Yeah. And I, mm -hmm. at the exclusion of any other possibility really, Cause it was dead on on all trails like oh that's like the only way to go yeah and then yeah so it's just important to like keep some presence don't be so focused on climbing and the exertion that you forget to like step back and be like is this right yeah something that i'm questioning now is like we were on the the path but it wasn't the right path if it's putting us down the like the the ridge what if that's not the right path and like the path could be down below then back up it's like if all trails was wrong by a little bit like if you're off by 50 yards this way, I mean, that's 300 feet in elevation. So yeah, we experienced that a lot in Peru, didn't we? Like we were, we we're like, well, this, this all trails map seems like kind of wrong in a way. And we found like better routes, but then other times we we're like, well, we really should be on the all trails map. We should have been on it. Yeah. It, it, it went back and forth. Like you're just following one person's other route and they may have made mistakes mm -hmm. or they may have, may have thought of better ideas than you. Mm -hmm. So. Any other gear considerations or anything? Uh, oh. Little gloves would be a nice thing. Yeah. Yeah, ba backpack, find, water. Well, yeah, gloves. Try to find better friends to. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, nothing, nothing like against you guys. Um, uh, uh, you guys yeah. are good. We said better. Though. Yeah, better. <laughs> better. <laughs> better. Yeah, yeah, All right, exactly. I think that's a good cue to go back and go eat some food. Cut the potatoes, so I started off by cutting them to make them boil faster and cook through a little faster. Then I attempted to cut them flat, kind of like uh, chips almost. And we got a bunch of butter in here. And we're going to start cooking it and put some tarragon and other good stuff. So that's good. Nance, yeah, so what are you doing over there? Trying to open up a wine bottle with just a little knife. Put the flavors in that you want more subdued first. So I'm putting pepper in now. Okay. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. It's, like it's okay because the, the best middle. thing about this, maybe maybe do this. The best thing about the cast iron is that you just boil it with water and it just like cleans up like crazy. Do not wash this with soap. Okay. This okay. would like you'll never. Yeah. It'll just be boiled that off with sense. water and then wiped like down. But actually, if we can we can use this stuff cooking the steak if we can get it off and that will help add some flavor to the steak. It made me think that it's still doable but that we're gonna have another surprise. Oh my god, wow. Oh my god. That onion. <laughs> What's with the onions here? Oh my god. That hurts. Well, what are you doing, Patrick? So I put the onions in after I got the potatoes to the point where they're a little bit more burnt. I might have to keep throwing uh, olive oil and butter in here. Uh, but then, then we will add other flavors that we want to stand out more towards the end. Does that make sense? The things you want to stand out more, you don't want to cook as much. We cooked away that pepper and salt, mm -hmm. and we really uh, got these, these potatoes, the base, you know, very much down to like almost a french fry state. Onions we're putting in the middle and then the last things we add at the end. 
to, to keep that flavor there. It's harder to do because it's so uneven, but I try to, this is ideal right here where I kind of like burned it on the outside. Yeah. I like the outside dark. Yep, and then you get the inside as rare as possible. Now this one's not doing as well because it is kind of uneven. Maybe because I just have as much butter. Closing it down for the night. Not sure if this shows up on camera, but that's our, our final result. Delicious. Want to get a good, uh, <laughs> good image of it? Good Amazing. image here. Mm. There's the food. This is the, the way. steak. Yeah. All right. And there's Jim, if you can see that. There you go. Day two. We're going to, I'm actually not sure what the plan is, so. I'm not going to talk too much. All right, we've got a morning fire going. We've got Jim up and Jimmy up. Wonderful river flowing by, still flowing. That's great to see. What do we got in store for today? Mount Pew. Mount Pew. Going to Mount Pew. We're all packed up. Yep. Ready to go. We got the pots and pans right there. Saving them for tonight. Vance created a nice little light up in the tree, so tonight we can turn the light on and it'll be like a uh, a nice a nice mood lighting that Vance put up there, up in the tree. <laughs> We're here on Something Ridge, up above there. We don't know the name of it. Below Something Ridge, in sort of a little high camp area, I guess you could call it. It's not that high, but on our way up there. So, so Jim, up there is, is maybe like a thousand feet, right? So we have like another 3,000 or so feet to go. So three of these. And does it continue to get steep like this from here on out? So you can kind of maybe envision. You get to the ridge and then you're going across the ridge. That's not that steep. And then you get to the scramble, which is steeper than this. Or about this steep, but it's a, more of a straight path. Yeah. So the peak is like, if I point, it's like there. It's a, it's at about 45 angle. 40, it's a little it's lower than 45 if I were to point. Probably I would say the peak is like I'm probably pointing at the peak right here. Okay, we uh we've had some discussion on what we're going to do and uh just assessing everybody's fitness level or just I don't know how they're feeling and then what time of the day it is cuz it's pretty late. Uh what's the what's the plan now? I think we're just going to go up to that ridge, see how we feel, see what kind of pace we're making. Some people might come back down here. Some of us might push for it, um, or we might just all stop and, and go back. I think it's kind of like a, just a <coughs> continual assessment as we go. We're going to leave packs here, just bring one pack with a couple bottles of water. Yep. Leave the packs here, and I think that'll free us up um, quite a lot to have a little bit faster pace. Sounds great. All righty. We're at the top of uh, what I believe is called Stujak Pass on the way up Mount Pu, Mount Pu. And uh, it's just a, it's not a really great view because of the smoke, but it's a cool area. And you have this sort of massive right here, this pedestal. And I'm not sure if that, that must connect to other hills beyond that, right? And that's not an independent slope plateau it keeps going yep and then down on the other side what direction is what here where is that is that snow on the north side of the and you can kind of vaguely I can I can very faintly see some sort of peak through the smog the wildfire smoke over there that, and I, that's white that's white chuck that is white chuck okay yeah it's beautiful I hope that my GoPro can catch capture that Yeah. Look at because it. it's just such a silhouette yeah it, it feels really great in the, the cool breeze here with, with the sunshine. I'm really liking it. <clears throat> but anyway, Jim and I are up here. Jimmy and Vance are making their way up. Maybe they have another 10, 15 minutes or something like that. All right, we're heading down after getting up to the pass there. Got Vance behind. Jim up there kind of jogging. And uh, just going back down to meet Jimmy. So we can plan our next move. All right, we found we found uh, what I think I think are uh, bramble berries. 
um, along this whole mountainside here, this kind of leaf. Uh, Banth's got some examples here. You can see that. Try to bring those back to our buddies. We're here at this uh, lake again, and it just looks incredibly like glass, like a mirror over a lot of it. I just noticed that tree right there has burned. Just that one tree burned out a little bit. It's still alive. That's kind of nuts. That actually worries me. <laughs> a lot. We walked by a tree that was like three times that size in the middle of Paulo. All right, we're back in uh, Darrington and uh, just picking up some more supplies after getting back down to the mountain there. Beautiful, amazing sunset through the smoke. It's unfortunately that there's so much smoke, but it looks amazing. And uh, yeah, we're pretty tired. So we're gonna pick up some extra groceries and stuff here. Fried blueberries. <laughs> Dang. We're not messing around on the second batch of blueberries. No. <laughs> Would you like some pancake with your blueberries? Mm. How's that look? Delicious. Is when we get into the rock, when we get into the rock scramble, we went up and towards the crevice. Yeah. Was that wrong? Was it straight down and around? I think that was right because uh, in reading the reviews, people are like, if you go on a day when there's a lot of other people, bring a helmet because you're just gonna get rock slide. Like there's gonna be rocks coming oh, back at you. Okay. So I'm pretty sure everyone does that crevice. So it, it should be something we can do. But I also like our, the way that we went better. Yeah. When we doubled back and we found a safer route. I think that's a better route. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I don't think we need to do the rock crevice, even if others are. I'm hoping that there are some more people on the trail today. Because then you so can ask them. We can see them ask doing them what's going it. on. We can ask them, hey, have you done it before? It seemed way less traveled than it seemed way less traveled than uh, Mount Mount Pew. Yes. On, we're I'm talking about. We'll see a couple people, but we might not. Yeah. Again. We're talking about White Chuck Mountain. We're back. Uh, this is day three. It's day three, right? Yeah. It's day three. And uh, we're going to go back to White Chuck Mountain, which we had done on Thursday and had not uh, successfully climbed all the way. Based on time. Just based on time. Yesterday, Mount Pew, uh, uh, kind of also based on time. We just were a little bit slow getting going. Um, and, uh, you know, just based on how our, our skills are, we probably should have started at, you know, 7 or something or got out there at 9. And um, we just didn't want to take too long come back when it was dark and uh have to cook and everything um you know we're camping so right now we're going to white chuck which is half of the distance of mount pew and we're going to see what we can achieve all right we're heading up the uh, mountain here it's pretty rough driving up to the trailhead for white chuck mountain i'm going to maintain my speed through the speed bumps next time because I try to go slow to get over them, but then I need momentum to get up some of these. Yeah. Better to be uh, better to be conservative. Yeah. yeah. As long as we're not Just take it road. easy. Yeah. Because it gets pretty skinny up here. The f Does it seem like we can see that better now? I'm trying to remember. I feel like we couldn't see that from here as easily, but maybe maybe we could. Maybe I'm just re misremembering. Slightly worse today than the first time. Is it here. worse now? Okay. Well. Still pretty decent visibility though compared to to other times we've been out here. Yesterday maybe better than yesterday, but worse than worse. Or way better than the first, or way worse than the first day, but better than yesterday. It actually looks clearer to the left than it does to the right. I feel like we're almost on top of the smoke in a way. That would be cool. I can see the top layer of smoke over there in that valley. We are starting at about 5,000 feet here versus yesterday we started at 2,000. And then you guys were above the smoke when you got to that peak, right? The first one, or that one you went to? The pass? No, not really. No. 
but we heard that it, it we heard that you got above eventually it. got above it. Back on the trail, to White Chuck Mountain. Day three, second attempt. We've got more time. We're better fed. We've got a better lay of the land. Walking through this nice, beautiful, shaded forest. There's a lot less smoke in the air in this area right now. So that means it's hotter. We are a lot more exposed out in the sun. But it also means it feels a lot better to breathe. So yeah, here we go. All right. Um, which way does the road get out of here? It doesn't go that way, does it? It doesn't go that way, no. Because that was north? What You're seeing multiple little it's random small. fires mm -hmm. from totally separate sources, potentially. Yeah. Let's just see which way it is. We go south, yeah. So it's probably... Well, that's only like eight miles away from us, those fires are. Second time coming here, but wow, it just looks amazing. It's gotta be less smoke this time. That's incredible. Oh, my shot in the, in the shot there. Well, wow, amazing. Bigger than they were, they're not gonna get smaller. I'm not saying that there's that Seattle smoke right now. Might have been horrible. Oh, look at the snow! Is that little patch is almost gone now? Check, check that out. There's uh, charcoal. There. Oh, charcoal! Wow. Well, we're just getting above the a lot of where the tree line is, and and that's very steep. That's kind of steeper. Maybe they don't get as much rain coming from the other side, or it's just rocky or soil, worse soil. We're at this uh, plume, or the, not a plume. There's plumes of smoke around. We were at this. We were at this little ice patch the other day, and it was much bigger. And now that the smoke has kind of cleared away, it's just getting destroyed, melted. But we're still going to use it while we can. There's still some. <laughs> How does that feel, Jim? So good. Oh yeah, I just put it right there in the hat. Boom, done. Oh my goodness, I got a brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're trying to we're trying to decide whether I've got the uh, little red riding hood outfit on, uh, and we're trying to decide whether we should go to the right. Last time we went up to the left here, and we were able to make it up over this kind of craggly looking stuff, but it was we didn't see beyond that. We don't know if it's hard, like way harder going to the left or. If going to the right is better, so we're just trying to think about that a little bit. All right, we're making our way up into the scramble area here before we go up over that ridge like we did on Thursday. whole field here of blueberries. That's cool. Above a little glacial here. Blah, blah. Can I talk to him? We're above a glacier on the, I guess that's probably the north side. That had to be the north side of the mountain then. And you can see some crevasses. Incredible. And it's, it's amazing how it's such a plateau. It's just dark rock face and then it's a plateau and then just sort of heads down off into a cliff. Crazy, incredible. And there's our... Oh, really? There's a path. Oh, shit. But we can wait from here. Well. 
we're almost at the same height as our little massive friend over there. It looks like someone piled something on top. That's insane. That's some big peak. I don't know if it's glacier, but I think that is. Hmm. You thought it was rounded, though. I did? I thought you said glacier was rounded. Oh, yeah, I, th I think so. So then that wouldn't be glacier. But you only saw pictures from people that were up there. They might yeah, not have even it, been. Well, you're at the if you're at the peak, maybe it does and it look it's so big on top, it looks pointy from here, but it right. could it could not. It's just got to a point where it's difficult to tell. Or we go left or right again. It just looks more and more intimidating here. But we found a little. Sounds like we found a little crevice still left. We're gonna follow. And. Uh, Maybe it doesn't look as scary as to the right. And here's the view of that massive. I just heard that we have 500 feet to go, so it's probably, probably that's it. Oh, there is? Yeah. Quite as imposing. I thought we needed to higher up. Are you positive? Like, what is above you right now? Well, no, there's a path right there that we need to get to. There's a path right there, so we need to go there. Okay. This is going to be too hard for us. Path is not the one. Okay. Uh, I can stand over. I'm going to stand here. I'm a little sketched out of top, but I'm going to stand over the top. But you guys stay lower. Yeah. I see where I'm going. Bit of a, bit of a scramble. Lean past this. But a lot of good hand holds. That makes it feel more secure. Lots of little pretty little rocks. Quartz. Ah, oh, it's looking more intuitive now. Oh, it's pretty high now. <clears throat> you feeling more elevation? No, just the view. I mean, oh. I, I, don't, I don't feel elevation necessarily. Oh. These are the. Give me my lead. What's up? You want to lead? Sure. I'd rather have this type of hike that's um, more vertical and less distance. Let me get a picture of you guys. But yeah. there's, there's a point where it's too vertical, you know? Like the last one was it's almost too vertical. Very, yeah, especially on the way down, that's going to be scary. Yeah. Because, like, a slip is fatal here. Yeah, a, a slip for, for half of our trip, over half of the trip here, is going to be fatal. That's a lot of, you know, opportunity. Yeah. Um. Do we need to discuss what to do next here, or can, can you follow Jim? Maybe. Can you see? Could you see any trail? Let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, the only trail I see, I see it following up this way. Anyone see any other thing that I could pass for a trail? No. That's is that that's the peak though, right? We decided that's. There's not another one behind it. I always feel like there's always another one behind it. And another one. And then another one. Yes, last time we thought that was the peak. Yeah, now we're above it. Whew. Is that the trail there? So what happened? We well, missed something. Well, I don't know what the trail looks like to the left, but it doesn't appear to be good. I don't, even if it's left, I don't think it's going to be left. <laughs> that motherfucker's doing two of these in one day? <laughs> Guy's got ice in his veins. I think what you do, guys, if you were going to do it, is go down here. Yeah. Well, that's it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Bring out lunch. But we're so close. <laughs>
Oh man. So I will tell you that this this right here is not bad, but fucking scary as hell. Like yeah. I see exactly where we put our hands and stuff, but mm -hmm. it's scary as hell. Here. Sorry, Patrick. <laughs> I have a feeling when we're done, we'll just drive right into Darrington and get food because we got nothing, you know. We got shish kebab. Not true. Sure. It sounds like you want to go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna shish kebab. Did you guys see this climb down? Yeah. Oh man, going back is terrifying too. Mm. Well. God. Oh what? The more I look around, the more disoriented I get. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we would do. Uh, we weren't a bunch of pussies, which we are. Yeah. It's okay. I'm happy to be a pussy. <clears throat> oh my God. I'm happy to be a pussy. <sighs> oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, shit. Those guys say that they went all the way up to the top. They didn't say that. So they might yeah, have. Yeah, we said, we, did you make summit? And they said, yep. Yeah. Mm. Holy shit, a panorama is a phenomenal picture. Oh, I bet. You guys on the side and that thing. I'm just thinking, you want to just get comfortable over here? And... Yeah. It appears that we're at the same elevation, so maybe we could stay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we made it, um, mostly. Yeah, if you, if the fall meant you fell 10 feet, then, okay. Yeah, so we're, we're almost at the peak. We're probably, what is that, 50 feet? 150 feet. 50 or 100. 50 100 yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> there's just this cliff before you go back up to that other side. It's a ladder climb down, essentially. Yeah. And on either side of the ladder at the bottom is just a very steep 75 degree or 45 degree rock slide. So okay. if there's any mistake no, it's, yeah, climbing, not, climbing down the ladder, then... It's not 45 yet. That's, you're not stopping. Anymore. Yeah. You're just going to be dead. So we decided it's probably better to be alive than dead. And probably better to say, this is it. We did it. Yay, almost, it. almost white chalk. We did it, Asterix. <laughs> so there you go. All right, we're, we're heading back. <clears throat> Don't want to be too exposed. I'm going to take a little bit of water. Oh, yeah, I'll take something. Oh, yeah. Drink water first. You want to take this water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it even if you go. See, it's not that bad. But this is scary as hell. He's doing it. <sighs> me. I'm going without a pack. I'm afraid to like train myself to be doing these sketchy things. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't worry. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna go. I need to draw my limit here. I think. I'm gonna draw my limit here. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. No, I'm not gonna go. <sighs> um, yeah, I just. I just don't want to be in a situation where I have to, like. Where, like, I have to go and put myself in danger. I'm just not feeling that good about, I'm not feeling about my climb, good, I've never climbed very much. I think you should keep in mind, keep in mind we have to go down too. If you guys feel really, if you guys feel really super solid about continuing from where you are, then I say do it and I, and I support it. Okay. If you feel sketchy at all, like there's danger, then I, I say still... Oh, I see where he's going. I thought he had to go up that thing for a little bit.
I mean, I'm sure we can do it. Um, it's just making me realize, like, I, I probably should just train a lot more in climbing. I just I don't. My rag there, right? can you grab that? Where? No, your rag is here. I have it. Um. Yeah. So I need to. I've got this recording, by the way. I'm getting them right. all the way going all the way up. Good. Be a good. It's good to go for them. Yeah. I don't know why. Is smoke moving in yeah. over there? It is. Yeah, because now we can't see anything. Interesting. Smoke's really moving in. But that, that may actually help us a little bit because it'll be a little more shaded. feels like already <laughs> have you seen those campers that hang ropes off the edge and then they have like uh hanging platforms oh yeah I, well, i've seen it in real life in yosemite wow yeah i want to see the pictures it's uh Alright, we're on our way down. The visibility is just tanking from all the smoke over here coming in this direction. Used to be able to see, what was it, Mount Baker? Oh no, you can still see it right over there because it's above the smoke, but this is at about the smoke line or slightly below and it just keeps coming in. Going down is quite a challenge. It's uh, very nerve wracking more difficult than going up for some reason. Harder to walk and move with your feet than with your hands. Grabbing for handholds. I just get angle I angle so hard this way. going across the face now to the grass. I think those I think those fires over there are getting are bigger. That's scary. Well, it's getting very, very smoky and smokier and smokier here. I guess we kinda knew that was coming, but we've also got an emergency alert on one of our phones to evacuate such and such area I'm not sure what we're not sure where that area is and we see those fires over there so we're just trying to take it nice and easy 
get down, basically. That's all we can really do. This might not have been how we came up. No, we went across. There might have been a different chute that looked a lot like this, but this one's just like an easier. We did not come up this. We shot across the ridge almost the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, it took us a different way for sure. Just because it kept getting easier. But uh, this is so great. Every foot is like a foot down. Yeah, it's just, it's, it doesn't feel as intimidating. flowers, bees, and Mordor. That there is the entrance to Mordor. Lord of the Rings. Who's got the ring? Gollum? The sun is completely red. many of them and they're so perfect uh, white chuck mountain uh, Jim here and Vance made it Jimmy and myself uh, did not we were a little bit from the top that should be shown on the video and we're just gonna do a review and talk about uh, some of the learnings and thoughts for future trips uh, regarding gear technique anything else because what, what's sticking with me from this one is I'm having trouble figuring out objectively how much in danger we were, but I I don't think I've ever felt more in danger in the outdoor in the outdoors like in the, in nature. Any any part specifically along that? All of the sheer edge, when literally like a slip and you're just going and you would like have a you know your foot one decent hold and then no other holds and if that foot goes then you're gone. Um, Jimmy assessed it at like there were three different times that he felt like we had a 5% chance of falling. Of one of us falling. And so think about that. Three separate times of a 5% chance. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good. And so I'm trying to figure out, okay, is that accurate? Is that an accurate assessment of the risk? Because if it is, we did some really dumb shit. Yeah. Right? And, and then if it's not, the, it's really interesting because it's like, well, will we look back on it at some of the video that he took? He thinks there's one moment that he caught that's like one of those holy shit moments. Right. So we look back on that and we see, does it actually look like a holy shit moment or is there something in our mental state right now? So that's what I'm most interested in. I don't think I'll ever do a hike like this again. Really? Yeah, I, wow. it scared me enough. Wow. Actually. Uh, yeah, because how do you even get around that, that danger there? What's the technical better shoes or whatever I guess I if I had my other shoes right now I think I'd be in a worse state oh really like I'm glad I brought these instead of the the trail runners that are loosey-goosey yeah and they have too much play in the toe box where they sometimes just kind of slide interesting around. I'm really glad that I had these yeah for, for the trip report we need to make sure that everyone brings a small day pack everyone is in charge of their own water and everyone is charged their own food and other possible what else were what we else thinking they, what else they uh, that they tape want? Tape for blisters. Sure, some suntan lotion. Sun Just be responsible for your own things. I mean, you can have a buddy and be like, hey, I'll bring that. But, uh, you know, we didn't have food. So. We should have, uh, we should come up with uh, probably a list of what would ideally be in I, that uh, pack. I left the door open only because it was super hot inside the car. Okay. okay. We the, should, uh, uh, maybe we should come up with a. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Whoops. We also collected some huckleberries that I forgot about. Also, juice. also, uh, yeah, I, can, I guess I can pause it and we can start again here. I, I, uh, well, we if good? they're going to come out and start talking to us. I pause it. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I'll pause people. it. Yeah. So I think there could just be a lot of micro adjustments you're doing that would lead to a lot of friction in weird places. Mm -hmm. 
talking about Vance's feet are getting a lot of friction today. And uh, in, in previous trips, he didn't have that problem. And part of it could be the boots are waterproof. Mine too. I, I feel like yeah. I've got. Have a good one. I feel like I've got a lot of the similar uh, problem that I that I uh, encountered, and I haven't taken my shoes off yet, but they feel very blistery. Oh, do they? Mine yeah. feel good actually, which is making right. me feel good about these. Yeah. Because I it took me a while to break these in, but I'm feeling solid. I now you look like you have wool socks on. I do. Weird. Weird. That I is that is weird. Wool That's socks a with a with a, la a really thin top layer, so wool sort of on the places where you need padding, but it lets your foot breathe still. Okay. They're called darn tough socks, and okay. they're made for summer hiking. Nice. It's very summery, very dry mm -hmm. on this hike. How about you? What, what were you thinking, Jimmy? Um, well, first of all, running shoes, no problems at all, but they were kind of slippery on the rocks. Okay. So I'd almost rather have these, though. I, I feel like I can feel the ground better. Mm -hmm. Oops, more clunky. But um, as far as, like, safety goes, I felt safe most of the time. I was concerned about Vance, actually. Like, I saw Vance have a couple slips. Yeah. So, like, every... I'd have one slip to three Vance slips, I noticed. Yeah, I don't worry too much. I don't know. But I was getting nervous about Vance seeing him do that. So I wasn't confident in Vance's ability. Um, I think mostly because it's like you walk up stair, like a million stairs, and you get tired and your legs get sore. Yeah. And then you get kind of like... Like you were worried about him eventually, eventually get coming into it, running into a bigger problem. Eventually, yeah. As he we goes got... up higher and higher and higher, and then eventually he's like, I know he knows his level, obviously, but he's like, oh shit, maybe I came too far. And then he's going to yeah. be like sketchy on the way down. Kind of yeah. rolled my ankle a little bit, but like, I don't know, it wasn't... There, there was one time he was walking, and you guys didn't see it, but his foot slipped off, but he fell into the hill. So he caught himself. Um, on one of those... All knife the way back down on the on the on knife edge or an easy part on an easier part um i wasn't paying attention i was going to say that you also saw me went once i was in a safe place i was fancy oh, yeah, feet all over the place right? feet at the bottom, you, but... you know fancy feet so like when i'm not like yeah. being careful my feet go every which direction i just catch myself weird right after we finished that rock cliff face we had the grass area that curved around to the right we me and vance walked ahead of you guys and we had that slip but mm. um that was what i was afraid of happening um, and I also didn't want to say anything when Vance was going to the top because it would reduce your confidence. So like, yeah, let him, I, let him I, just I fucking do it. And like, I make adjustments. You guys seem like perfect. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all. Okay. So I, I don't like the falling and making adjustments when there's not much room for error. But yeah. Like personal, I, I don't like that either. Personal situation, I guess. Yeah. Um, I was thinking rope, like this was probably this and, and one thing in Peru was, uh, you know, 50 feet of rope, pretty small amount. Nice For to a lot have. Of sections though, it wouldn't have helped though because right. there were long ledges of sketchiness, so we would all have been on the sketchy. Yeah. So yeah. if one person goes, all it means is like, oh, oh yeah. all of us are dead. That would not have helped. There's, I don't know if there's any getting around the sketchiness of that knife edge. I don't think so. I don't know if there's any way to get around that other so than I just go slow. I wouldn't do it again. I don't yeah. Think. I'm glad we did it, and I'm glad Jim and Vance went to the top. Because number one, Jim would have like came back the next day. I think I would have if had he, to have if come he back. wouldn't have done it and done it alone. Probably. And also, I'm glad Vance made it to the top because like you said, fuck my it, let's go. Were, well, my feet were hurting yesterday, and then when I woke up, you guys were like, oh, change your plan. We're going today. I'm like, fuck, okay. Yeah. Like I just knew that like it was now or never. Wouldn't that you? Yet yeah, you did it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just I, like, I'll deal with some a couple blisters. These would have probably not been like had we done this, had we had a break day, they probably would have. It wouldn't have been the same. Not only that is that was a big that is a good uh, you know comeback story because not only did he do it he ended up like leading the charge to the very end because you were getting ready to be like okay yeah I oh, think so we should I go back. back with you guys yeah, yeah and then and when I Vance... saw him do that it happened, but that happened before with uh, in the boundary waters I like jumped up one cliff and then Jim clipped, jumped off one and then I went higher I jumped off and then I was like okay yeah that's I, I don't want to go higher and then I they turn around Jim's like whoa. Like, oh yeah, um, you did end up doing that. Yeah, the, and then yeah. He just he just did it. He, he got the courage. Yeah. yeah. So him boasting for it, I'm like, well, there's no fucking way that I'm gonna fat, like. Were you saying like, not there's no way that fat fox is gonna make it up, and I'm not? <laughs> no, I was no, just hey, like honesty. I was honesty, like, hey, if, he, if, he, if honest, he's moving forward, I, I'm 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 moving forward because I knew that I was gonna it was gonna be in my head then, and I probably would have come back and done it alone, which is maybe not more dangerous, but it's dumb. It's still dumb. Yeah. I uh, I love the fuck it. Don't be a pussy attitude and just go do it. <laughs> like I do like that, but at a certain point, I feel like three of us were like, ah, eh, maybe not. And yeah. The person leaves, and it's like, oh well, fuck. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And there, and actually another time, I feel like I pick on Vance a lot. Uh, we walked <laughs> down, and Vance just left. We knew we were on the all trails map, and Vance is like, I'll find the path, and you just went for it. 
but we were standing on the on the path down yeah. that little gully. So like we were like, come back, and you just like kept going. Um, again, it's like, there's like there's this point there's a point that I got to where I could see more and I could see more, and then right. I was like, okay, this is not the way. Okay. It was more so like I know I'm pretty sure that they're like seventy percent sure that they're right, and I was like, let me investigate, let me investigate, and then I was like. Yep, they're right for so, sure. But there was also these cases where, okay, so sometimes I took a different path than you guys. So I had seen you do the butt slide down, uh -huh. and I was in the same exact spot. All I had to do was replicate what you did, mm -hmm. and I just didn't see it in my head. Mm -hmm. I was like, this doesn't feel right to me. And so I did what probably seemed like more dangerous, but felt better to me, Interesting. which was going on a different path yeah. going up, which I think made you guys super <clears throat> uncomfortable and might have been more dangerous. But I could actually in visualize in my mind what I was going to do. Whereas I couldn't, I didn't feel right about it. And so the question is, do you trust that gut instinct? Like if I can visualize it, I can do it. So yeah. I'm going to do that even if it feels harder to the other guys. Whereas like, if I can't visualize it, I just felt super certain just trusting like, oh no, just put your foot there. It's like, well, if I don't feel that, then I can't, I can't do that. I can't put my foot in a place that feels like it's going to slip. Even though I saw it, I just saw you yeah. do it. I think you looked down at like the 45 where I went and you were like, okay, that sucks. It's going to be fucking hard. But then you look completely horizontal, and you're like, okay, if I get there horizontally, I can make it work. But then you have to slide vertically down. Yeah. So that was like the issue coming down every time. Right. Um, yeah. Also, too, I'm I'm convinced that you don't realize how much traction you don't have. Maybe. I'm not saying that my situation is best because I have problems with my shoes and moisture, but like you were like scared in certain sections, and I was like, yeah, was like behind you, and you're like, you're like yeah, those shoes, those those right running shoes are pretty flat. Yeah. On the bottom. They don't, they don't have traction, for sure. They don't have any I traction, totally yeah. yeah. But I, it's also interesting, like, we, we each kind of inherently have our different fears and risks, partly maybe because of what we have or what we're wearing, but also maybe partly inherently. But, like, I just did not feel sketchy at all on the way down, like, almost the entire time. The whole way. Yeah. I had three spots. I, I right felt still. so relaxed. Wow. Maybe I just, like, calmed myself or something. You might have just gotten on the way up, mental I, state. Yeah. On the way up, I was feeling like kind of more and more nervous. Just it felt like it got harder and harder right. until there was a walk at the end. And then you were definitely scared at the end because you just you didn't want to complete the last bit. Even even just like sitting down, um, on that first part, and then like flipping over, felt too much for me because it's just it was just a sheer cliff. I think you got yourself that into point. A, a different mental state on your way down. Because yeah. I think that yeah. your mental state on the way up was had to have been different. Because I got to tell you it was way sketchier for me on the way down than the way up. Interesting. I actually felt good. Well, you you might have tweaked you might have tweaked yourself by doing the the peak. There could have been some I mean that could have been very adrenaline rushing down and was worse for me. down is way worse. Were really? Down yeah, down was worse for me. Yeah, yeah. I you felt just no like, I was like whatever. I think that yeah. I think when you're going up a cliff and you're walking like this, a fall is like this. I think when you're going down a cliff and you're standing like this or whatever, mm -hmm. the fall is just uncontrollable. Maybe it's my motion. maybe it's my technique. I, I was sitting on my butt a lot. Yeah. Also. And maybe that's partly because of these pants. These pants, like you, kind of all have like flimsy pants, and I have like rugged pants. So maybe oh, maybe that enables. To slide. Oh really? I, like because you were explaining your your technique. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I can't experiment with technique right now. Right. I just got to stick to what I'm doing. So it's not like I didn't want to slide on my butt. If that had felt any safer to me, I would have done it. Sure. But I just wasn't willing to change my technique, you know, like, you know, halfway down when I had already done my technique for two sections and, and survived. Yeah, no, nah, fair enough. I keep doing that. Yeah. Yeah, do what's known. Good any, conclusion. Anything else? Any other good. categories we forget about? Good conclusion. Good. All right, sounds good. Back to camp.